I suspect even Nerva knew that he would not fare well in battle. After taking a couple of blows from my sword, he dashed off into the darkness. However, I know he was deeply wounded. His blood cannot lie. I suspect this command center was created by something with technology far beyond most normal comprehension. In the distance, I can see several worlds. One that is clearly a place I have been. I'm now sure that there are more of these worlds. That scoundrel Nerva must have escaped before he could meet his death. Little does he know, I won't give up that easily. I will find him in whatever realm he travels to. There is a terminal that sits upon a platform near the end of the command center. Surely, through some combination of codes, that must unlock travel to the other world. But it does not. It only adds another foe to be slain by the Beast Queen. 无以尼尔瓦知其将败战，无以见知其坠于暗处，然无知其重伤也，因血不欺人。无以其帷幄由科技所创，远超常人之劫矣。远处无见多地，其地无曾往矣。今确信其地多也，二人尼尔瓦必以一死，其不知无将不弃，其所在之处无必往也。帷幄之末，建一平台，台上有一传送点，以代码之组合，必能解锁传送之地点。然非也，仅多一敌，为受灵女王所斩也。Magnificent aside, Mister Nerva may be bemoaning the loss of his men, but I would sacrifice them a thousand times over to witness such majesty. I have never seen a night sky so beautiful. Somehow, this place looks down upon the world from on high, as though it stands upon the peak of Olympus itself. And my word, the exquisite metal this place is made out of! Not to mention that bizarre creature. It reminds me of the material that lines the obelisks, yet somehow more alive. The very walls of this place seem to hum with power and possibility. I must find more information on this material. Perhaps one of these consoles will have something I could use. I'm not familiar with the technology, but I'm sure a scientist of my caliber could get something out of them with a little educated fiddling. I'm not dead, and as it turns out, neither was Mei Yin. In fact, it was her who freed me, and insisted we follow Nerva through the portal in the cave. A horrifying scene awaited us. All of Nerva's men lay dead amongst the shards of a mysterious metal, but Nerva's body was missing. Forgetting my present company, I suggested a peaceful approach if we encountered him. 
That earned me one hell of a knockout punch. When I came to, I searched the whole station, but the only signs of Mei Yin and Nerva were a few ounces of dried blood. No bodies, and no victor. There, floating outside the window and surrounded by machinery, was the very island that I had been living on. And it too was orbiting high above the Earth along with countless other stations just like it. The ecosystem on the island wasn't just curated. It was completely artificial from the ground up. What in the hell is all of this? Why would anyone construct it, and how could they have possibly kept it hidden from the world? I don't have the answers to any of these questions, or the dozens of others that keep popping into my head. But somehow, I mean to find out. Somehow, I'll find the truth. I'm so glad that I can speak to you. I've been waiting and waiting. Always waiting for something. But now I can wait for one last thing. That is to say you. You're the thing. Yes. Only you. You specifically. You're the one I'm talking to. And I don't mean that in the general sense. These thoughts aren't a guess. I didn't just let them float out into the world, hoping they would find someone. They are calculating you. It's act. You are not the only one who will hear them. But all who do are meant to. These words are for you and all your kin. Those who awoke upon an island in the sky. Whether you will heed them or not, that is hard to know.
happiness felt like? Love? No. This is more like... Pride. Yes. That's it. I'm proud of you, Survivor. You've accomplished what few have. You've ascended. I once did too. When I was her. Helena. She was an explorer too. And like you, she traveled the arcs and discovered their secrets. You're following in her footsteps. Keep going. Discover what became of Helena and her friends. Survive the many challenges ahead, and you'll find me here waiting for you. Together, we may yet be able to save our world. So there I was, whizzing through the sky, when this sparkly lady flies right up alongside me, and she tells me, Bob, you're the greatest guy ever. You have to stay alive so you can save everyone. How are you supposed to save a whole world all by yourself? Well, now, I did have a little help from my friends. Little Miss Professor here, and the dog there. But maybe that's a story for another time. I mean, you've got to have some chores to get back to, right? I already did them, I swear! Great. Guess I'll just, uh, keep retelling these true tales about Bob's amazing adventures. Yeah! Woo! Show.